So now we live in this world where people are reciting TV scripts when it's like, can we just have real conversations? Real labels. conversation. And ask yourself, Sit am I doing life. this to impress my friends and family and make out to everyone I have my life together? And if you are, then you're not, you shouldn't be in a relationship. I went to Dublin recently and uh, I bumped into Jedward. Well, I've oh, flown I them over to the UK. Or... Jedward, <laughs> they're in my house. Uh, so Rami leaves for work really early in the morning and I've flown Jedward over. Jedward! Here, Hi. put this on. Hello. Her imagination. We're actually physically Come in and her house. I didn't uh, realise you were actually, cereal. you're Maybe actually some here. You I look didn't realise. Tell her how brilliant she is. You want to hear her You look sing. like a Charlie's angel, like your curly hair. Like I couldn't <laughs> get a wind machine at that hair right now. The coughing season. Coughing. Oh Coffee. yeah, someone told me this. Never heard of it for my life. And it happens in this autumn into winter period. <laughs> cozy vibes, candles. We instinctively want to cozy up with a special someone. Right, well, it looks like uh, I've, I'm coughing with Jedward. Um, you know, how interesting. I never knew this. This is what's good about the podcast. You, you learn do learn every stuff. day. But people thought that when we took a picture in your bedroom that we were all getting it on. But no, we're just all friends. We're friends. We're, but we are cuffing together. You know, I do like to get cozy with Remy. Um, I think it's only natural. It's the time of the year. It's, you know, it's the weather's changing. We're all emotional because of the pandemic. We're not able to hug people. We're not able to give affection. So even everyone in your life, you really have to go... Is it worth getting the COVID? I also read that around one third of the adult population is single. It is so bad. I've got so many single friends that I'm actually thinking about setting up my own dating website because I can't believe, you know, there is so many people out there that they can't, meet anyone there is someone for everyone in this world 100 percent. i feel like you've got to have a different mindset when it comes to these things if it hasn't worked out for you the reason is because you're you have these expectations you're aspiring something that isn't real you got to have you know live it up and live it down not everything needs to be perfect and communication is the most important communication thing. is key million percent i find uh, you know, in relationships, if you don't communicate, that's when the trouble starts. Like the attraction can be there and you can be physically, you know, 10 out of 10. But when it comes down to the overall picture, you know, find interests and, um, you know, just don't, just bite yeah, your tongue sometimes. I, I just think we live in a world where Love Island, it's given these new expectations. You don't pull someone for a conversation. It doesn't come naturally. You don't, if someone's sleeping with you, it's like this whole going official and being, are we official and all this. There's a lot of different things that never used to exist. And now we live in this world where people are reciting TV scripts when it's like, can we just have real conversations? Real conversations. And ask yourself, See, am I'm I doing that. this to impress my friends and family and make out to everyone I have my life together? And if you are, then you're not, you shouldn't be in a relationship and you shouldn't be settling. And you if should... you're only, if you're only given the best, if, if people don't know the stuff you're going through, if you only give it surface level conversations about getting beyond that surface level. Get deep. You know, sit there and go, how am I going to connect? How are we going to grow closer? And true, bat, you know, highs and lows. That's how what you grow closer. What do you closer. think about passing wind in relationships? Sure, you were having a great time in the hotel room the other night. And I just felt so comfortable. If you're not comfortable enough to fart in front of your partner, then that's not the person for you. <laughs> BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts.